May 20th, 2014. A day that ends an online gaming era. But yeah, you still have your PlayStation Network, your Xbox Live, your PC gaming scene, and it's not like the Nintendo online thing is going anywhere, but... It's the end of a first generation of online gaming for a lot of games that meant a lot to people growing up. And at least personally, being able to play a game like Mario Kart that we enjoyed so much as kids online with other people that you don't have to be in the same room with and you don't need a link cable for, it was just an exhilarating experience. And for a lot of DS games and Wii games that will no longer have the online capability of they do at the time of recording, it's just sad to see a lot of them go, and we couldn't let it go without a fight. Because Mario Kart Wii has meant a lot to us, and a lot to me in particular, because it's the game that brought me here and introduced me to a lot of the friends that I hold true to this day. And we wanted to do it some justice. Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and let's play Mario Kart Wii. Now, this was probably hyped up by the April Fool's video I put up that most of you didn't fall for, which upset me. I was hoping that there would be a lot of hype to this with people thinking, Hey, this isn't actually happening, and then it happens. But it's not going to happen in the same way that you expected. This is going to be, both in part, a traditional Let's Play like I've done for 64 and Super Circuit. But I'm not going to be doing it alone. I have eight people with me waiting in the wings, and each one of them is going to be joining me to come commentate one of the Grand Prix. However, most of the other seven are in their other group call, and they have their own capture devices going. So after this set of races is up, you'll be able to see their perspective as well. But for what we're doing now, I have my first guest here with me. Older fans will remember him as that guy who was sitting in the same room as Noxious School when he yelled Kyle die. Newer fans know him as the Game Genie. Ladies and gentlemen, Solar Eclipse. Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you and Giant for having me here today. This is going to be a lot of fun. So while we're waiting for everybody to settle in, we will be going through all eight of the Grand Prix in order, just like we would do for a normal Let's Play, but for each of these, I'll be having one of these fine eight gentlemen up top. So from left to right, we have myself, Universal Giant, we have Latino Heat 3454, Shadow Nux Sopro, DX Exile, Jesse Mario, Nova Don 130, also known as Scorching Nova, Brolius Caesar, Playing with Mawi, and who were we waiting on? Um, there it is. Solar Eclipse. Couldn't start with that, could I? Nah. So we'll be doing eight normal versus races, going through all eight Grand Prix, and at least for me, I'll be going through a number of different vehicle combinations just to mix things up a bit. Are you going to be doing, like, um, like how many different vehicles? Are you going to do all bikes? You can do, like, carts and stuff? I'm going to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Like, right now, I'm doing cart and automatic. I'm doing, um... I'm doing Boo and Flame Runner just because I'm most familiar with Flame Runner. You know, I just, I just like Boo. I really like I Boo too. I wish he appeared in more games, but then again, I missed the Boo item too, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. That's true. That'd be kind of weird to see him both as an item and a playable character. I wonder if they're ever going to do that. We're doing Mushroom Cup. Mushroom Cup, Circuit. Luigi Circuit. Let's see how many people actually remember. There we go. Oh, this wow. is the one and only time you will ever see this many <laughs> Luigi Circuits on screen. <laughs> totally not premeditated. No, nah, but I, I don't know, I always like starting off with Luigi Circuit anyway, because it's like, obviously it's the easiest course, but still. At the same time, there's so many things to say about it, because it's such a chaotic race. I mean, the reason yeah. why a lot of people hate it as much as they do is because you can get screwed over by items so easily. Oh, great way to start this Spun off. Spun out, didn't you? <laughs> right at the start. See, the thing about Luigi Circuit, it's the course that a lot of beginners pick, and since your rating online is based on the rating of the people that you race, then the more bad people that beat you, the worse you lose your score. So it's really irritating if you're trying to get up the ranks. 
And that's, I think exactly what you said. That's why so many people absolutely just hate this course because it doesn't, because it takes such a, like the least amount of skill. It's there's so much that could go wrong for even the greatest players, and it's very discouraging to lose a lot of points over a simple like misplaced item or, or for something to go wrong. Which is sad because the reason why you play Mario Kart is because of the unpredictability. It doesn't take that much skill just to compete with even the best players, and that's what makes it such an entertaining game. Mm -hmm. But and while when you're I do... playing for versus ranking, while I do like it, I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a great aspect because I really would like to see more people play it, or at least when it was alive. But I think, and it basically perfectly goes uh, right with what we want to talk about, or what I want to talk about is um, the items in this game. Because I think, and I'm just getting bodied really hard right now, um, you'll see it in the recording, <laughs> but what bothers me so much is um, just the item balancing, because I like small courses like this, but no, but get out of my way. Um, but it gets just, it just becomes a giant, like, can I swear? I'm not, I'm not trying to keep going. Because uh, it is, it's just a clusterfuck. Yeah, well, I just want to say clusterfuck. I know, it's a fun thing to say. <laughs> But that's essentially what Luigi's Circuit is, because every single item is always turned on. And, I don't know, I just think, at least in friend rooms, it'd be nice if players had the option to turn off certain items, or all items, if you wanted to play that way. Rather than just have a preset. Because if you go into the local multiplayer, you can turn off all the items, you can turn off some of the items. I mean, they're in presets, they're in, like, you know, they're called strategic, aggressive, and balanced items. Right. But, um... It's just kind of like, why can't you have that online? I don't know, that's, that's just me, though. Yeah, I would like to see that item called a selection and aid. Or Dude, in later um, games. Is, eight's not out yet, is it? I'm, It'll I'm... be out in a month from now, although okay. chances are people who are watching this may be watching it after eight comes out. That's true. Depends. Yeah, because I actually haven't been keeping up with any of the Mario Kart games past this one, so... I'm not sure. Did, how is the online play in other ones? Are the items still, like, set in stone, or have yeah, any changes been made? Although, you, you know, I'm not sure, because it's never something I've really fooled around with. Okay. Because for me, like, you could even go ahead, you could keep in, like, the blue shell. I don't really give a shit. You know, it's I guess, the iconic like, item. It's never going exactly. away. It's the item that everyone thinks of when they think of Mario Kart. Love it or hate it. If it were to not be in... That would be one thing. Like that would be like I I'd miss it, even if it, it's a powerful item. It should be. It should be a strong item. But when you have that hit you, and then you have a bomb, and then at least with the bomb, you need to be strategic about it. Uh, bullet Bill. I don't know. And then there's just worthless items. Like well, in my opinion, worthless is the um, the squid. The blooper. Since yeah, the blooper. Wow, I just called it the squid. And I get and the pal block, hate, which is effective at getting rid of items, but not much else. Yeah. That is actually, that is, I think it's a bigger culprit than the items being too powerful themselves. If getting hit with practically anything didn't force you to lose your items, you can actually play strategic with any item you have. It's just a shame when almost anything that happens to you will result in you losing your items. Yeah, that's one thing that sets this game apart from a lot of the others, that you do lose your item if you get hit with something, and it mm -hmm. makes it very difficult to recover. Like, that that's a perfect example. I just get a triple mushroom, and not eat. Okay, look, here's the problem. Not even so much- okay, I just must not even make mistakes. But, the biggest problem for me is that I didn't even- wow, I didn't finish. Damn. I'm just sitting here ranting about the items and- I'm getting messed up. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Pretty much. I mean, there are a lot of other games where the items aren't as balanced as you remember them. Like, if you play yeah. Mario Kart 64, you'll get a star and a lightning bolt in second place. Yep. It's At the same games. time, they're not really as effective. Right. And, I mean, the lightning bolt in that doesn't cause you to drop your items either, right? You know, I'm not sure. It's been a while. I don't... I don't think it does, but not only do you drop your items... Okay, because what I was, like, kind of in shock and awe about before was that we lost some people. Yeah, we did. We lost uh, one in the last race. We lost two um, here. I'll have to go figure out what happened. Yeah, hopefully we'll going? accept for the next race. I guess we'll keep All right. going. Alright. 
But yeah, what kind of set me back was not only did I lose my items, but the fucking the roulette thing, or whatever it's called, that didn't even finish. And just because I got hit with a lightning bolt, I'm not allowed to have any items. Not even, like, the roulette. It'd be one thing if you couldn't activate items. But why, why do you even lose the roulette wheel? Why does it completely have to cripple you? It is very irritating, especially in online play where the item roulette can lag, and it can take yeah. you a few seconds just to get an item, and in that few seconds, you could lose your opportunity to get one in the yeah. first place. And even still, if you're like, oh, I'll just, I'll just hold on to it, you know, just in case, like, nope, nope, you can't. I think, even if you're in last place, if 11th place has a lot gotcha, oh will that, that still hit you? I don't remember. Oh, it's hitting me. Oh, you fucking dick, Nova. <laughs> oh, I just saw him get hit with the lightning cloud. Jeff Park. He, he passed it to me after I got hit with the blue shell. <laughs> Typical Nova. I'll gladly overtake him. But I really don't think the items are very unbalanced at all. I mean, I'm, with some of the items that you have, they're inherently overpowered or underpowered, but at right. least in terms of how they balanced what they have, I think they did a fairly good job. Maybe it isn't so much the items, but maybe it's the fact that you drop items so easily. Maybe that's m more my gripe than what the items do. Certainly a part of it. Because really, I feel like that indirectly nerfs items when suits certain items will cause all players to drop them. Like, the lightning does it, the bullet, bullet bill does it, I think, right? If you, you get hit. under me. Um, did he really toss that? Wow, that shell's just going. Like, nothing happened. I literally bounced over the shell. <laughs> there is no way for me to avoid that one. Oh, this shit. is another thing I absolutely hate about this course that I just wanted to mention. If you fall at any point after that green mushroom, you don't get an item chance. Even if you if you get put back, you get put back on the green mushroom, you're ten seconds off at the end of the race, there's no way you can recover. Oh yeah, no, if, if you... If you fall victim to that area on the last lap, it's GG instantly. You can't recover from that. That's why I hate this course as much as I do. And ironically enough, I think Gabe disconnected on it. <laughs> that sucks. It, it really does. We should. I hope we can fix this for the upcoming races. But I hope so. Well, let's. I, I, I say we just play it out, and then we'll go back in and discuss what happened. I, I don't. I don't mind recommentating if that's what it takes. Yeah. I hope that's not... Or we could just play it off as everybody rage quitting, which we could believe just as easily. You know, for all we know, they really actually could be rage quitting. Is Justin still in this? Justin's still in this, right? I forget what that's... he's in the... So it's probably disconnecting. Okay. I'm... We're gonna pretend they rage quit, I don't care. It's just that with a lot of these courses, especially the easy ones, where every anything and everything can happen, it just makes races that much more exciting. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't appreciate it because you're playing it because you want to win and you want to have a decent ranking, when you really sit back to look at it, it's more of a joy to play when you really don't know what's going to happen with friends, friend room. It, it's just a lot more fun when you don't have any ranking on the line. I think that's yeah. how a lot of these games were meant to be played. And you know what's kind of funny too, because like, outside of Mario Kart Wii, like, I like to be competitive in like, a few other games. So I I'm competitive in any game I play, even like, silly games, like people like to say this. I don't know what people would say about this game, but even with all the items, whether or not people like, complain as random, I, I know I complain about all this, but I'm also like, eight years older now, and I've learned a lot since then. I know what you mean. You know, looking back, and I'm just like, everything that I had gripes about the game, um... It's what made I was it either, fun. I was either what? All the gripes are what made it fun. Yeah. And it's almost like, looking back now, um, that's like, that's what I'm getting at, pretty much, is that... Really, we can look back and be like, none of this really mattered, this was all for fun, and everything we had a problem with, usually it was our own fault or our own mistakes, like... Even though I complain about item balances, like, it, it doesn't matter. Everyone's still, like, a victim to the same type of luck-based, you know, manipulation. No one truly has an advantage over another player. And if you do play it for long enough, they will balance out. Yeah. Laws of averages. 
That's kind of like how in League of Legends, when a lot of people try to complain that, oh, I'm bronze tier, it's like, just enjoy the game, and if you're not very good at it, that's fine, you know, if you like it, that should be more important. And if you're bad and you want to get better, just find out what you're doing wrong. If, if you're playing your best 100% of the time, even with bad RNG, like, I get a fucking lightning cloud in third place, even with bad RNG, you're not going to lose all the time. If you're a good player, you'll win. The only issue with the VR system is that if you really blue shell, yeah, it, okay. all it takes is one raise, and you could be sitting there for an hour trying to make up for that one loss. Yeah, but it looks like we lost Nova and Anthony. So, Ouch. assuming that this recording is the one that we use, thank you so much for joining me, Ralph. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. And if we do another one, well then, thank you again. Nah, no, seriously though, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks you, Giant. Enjoy yourself on the group call. Oh, I will. <laughs> so this is Universal Giant, and we'll see you next time for the Shell Cup.